Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side and today's YouTube session we are going to learn data compression short answer type question answer and it's included unit 1 to 5 random question answer and guys they all are very important for your upcoming examination. So let's begin. In this your first question is what do you understand by entropy? Okay, entropy is very important topic and it's from unit 1. Okay. Entropy is measure of unpredictability. Understanding entropy not only helps you understand data compression, but can also help you choose good password and avoid easily guessed password. Okay, so how to find entropy? This is the formula for finding entropy. This is H is equal to summation I is equal to 1 to N. Okay, so here we have values. Summation ka means hota hai, addition karna. Jitne bhi aapko value di gai hai means sub for example p1, p2, p3, p4. Vaha par aapko addition karna hota hai. Kis type se? Is type se. pi log pi. What is pi? pi stands for probabilities. Okay. So, aap question kis tarah solve karenge guys? Aapko exa for example, aapko question is tarah diya hooga p1 P1, P2, P3 and P4 की values given होंगी, उसके basis पर आपको ये formula apply करना है, तो आप कैसे solve करेंगे? P1 log base 2, okay, here log, base of log is 2, okay, then P1, Pi, that is P1 की value, इसी तरह से हम add करते रहेंगे, इसमें value जितनी भी आपके question के according आपको mention होगी, then plus P2 log P2, plus p3 log p3 and so on okay so is tarah se aap is question ko solve kar sakte hain i hope aapne kiya hoga jab aapne topic wise padhai ki hogi to aapne zarur is is type ke question ko solve kiya hoga question number second is what do you mean by lossless compression answer is lossless and lossy compression are terms that describe whether or not in the compression or a file all original data can be recovered when the file is uncompressed. With lossless compression, every single bit of data that has that was originally in the file remains after the file is uncompressed. Okay. All of the information is completely restored. This is generally the technique of choice for text or spreadsheets files. Where lossing words or financial data could pose a problem. The graphics interchange file that is GIF is an exam is an image format used on the web that provide lossless compression. Question C is define data compression. In this data compression or just compression is the process of encoding information using fewer bits. Data compression or just decompression is the process of restoring compressed day back into a form in which it's again useful okay so guys up say exam me data compression we push a sakta hai as well as data decompression we push a sakta hai okay next question d is define compression ratio and it's very important question already marked here data compression ratio is defined as the ratio between the uncompressed size and compressed size okay cash next question question e Differentiate between fidelity and quality. Very important again. Differences between the reconstruction and the original are fidelity and quality. As well as when we say that the fidelity or quality of a reconstruction is high, we mean that the difference between the reconstruction and the original is small. Whether this dis difference is a mathematical difference or a perceptual difference should be evident from the context. Okay. Next question F discuss binary code. A binary code represents text, computer processor, instructions, or other data using any two symbol system, but often the binary number systems 0 and 1. Okay, so your binary code is based on only 0 and 1. The binary code assigns a pattern of pattern of binary digits that is bits to each character, instructions, etc. Okay. Next question. Question G is discuss Huffman code. Very important topic in your subject. Huffman coding is a lossless data compression algorithm. The idea is to assign variable length codes to input characters. Lengths of the assigned codes are based on the frequency of corresponding characters. The most frequent characters gets the smallest code in Huffman and the least frequent character 
gets the largest code. Okay. Next question H is define distortion. Again, very important. Read distortion theory is major branch of information theory, which provides the theoretical foundation for lossy data compression. It addresses the problem of determining the minimal number of bits per symbol. As measured by the rate R, that should be communicated over a channel so that the source, that is input signal, can be approximately reconstructed at the receiver output signal without exceeding a given distortion D. Okay, question number, question I is, define the term PPM. This is very important also. Prediction by partial matching. Okay, PPM stands for prediction by partial matching. Is an adaptive statistical data compression technique based on context modeling and prediction. So guys, PPM is based on context modeling and prediction. Focus on it. PPM models use a set of previous symbols in the uncompressed symbol stream to predict the next symbol in the stream. Okay. Question J is discuss golem coding. Very important. In this, golem coding is a lossless data compression method using a family of data compression codes invented by Solomon W. Golem in the 1960s. Alphabets following a geometrical distribution will have a golem code as an optimal prefix code, making golem coding highly suitable for situation in which the occurrence of small values in the input stream is significantly more likely than large values. Okay, write some applications of Huffman coding. Answer is here. Some applications of Huffman coding. First one is lossless image compression. In this, a simple application of Huffman coding to image compression would be to generate a Huffman code for the set of values that any pixel may take. Monochrome image the set usually consists of integers from 0 to 255. Okay, so what is the range of uh, integers here? That is 0 to 255. Examples of such images are contained in the accompanying data sets. Next, text compression. Text compression seems natural for Huffman coding. In text, we have a discrete alphabet that in a given classes has relatively stationary probabilities. For example, the probability model for a particular noble will not differ significantly from the probability model for another noble. Similarly the, similarly, the probability model for a set of photon program is not going to be much different than the probability model for a different set of photon programs. Okay. Next application is audio compression. In this, another class of data that is very suitable for compression is CD quality audio data. Okay, the audio signal for each stereo channel is sampled at 44.1 kHz. And each sample is represented by 16 bits. This means that the amount of data stored on one CD is enormous. If we want to transmit this data, the amount of channel capacity required would be significant. Compression is definitely useful in this particular case. Okay, guys. Now, let's wind up this lecture. See you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. Wish you a very, very all the best for your examination. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.